So in managing fruit at home, we have to think about what the fruit fly like. And if we don't manage our fruit, fruit fly lay their eggs in fruit. And uh, you might be able to see a little blemish on the outside of the skin. That, that shows that fruit fly might have laid its eggs in the fruit. If we don't do anything, that fruit will drop onto the soil. And inside the fruit, the fruit fly will continue to develop into uh, larvae. And then they'll actually uh, hatch out and uh, turn into pupae, little cocoon type um, arrangements. And they'll go into the soil and that's what they like. And if we don't do anything, they'll burrow into the soil and complete their life cycle. At home, if we compost, we're actually encouraging that cycle because we're putting the fruit exactly where the fruit fly wants to be. So instead of doing that, put your fruit into your green bin. Uh, the council will pick it up and it will be handled through a commercial process where we know it's treated properly and it will kill the fruit fly. Riverland waste needs to be treated differently because in most areas commercial processing doesn't meet standards that kill fruit fly. If you don't have a green bin or if you live in the Riverland, check the fruit fly website for disposal advice for your area. Alternatively, call the fruit fly hotline on 1300 666 010.